What's going on, world? We're here at the Awesome Shit Store in Melrose. I'm here with my mate, Nate Richter, that's like walking away right now, but Hi. here he is, here he is. And today, for Tuesday, How To Tuesday, he and I are gonna show you a couple tricks that you can do when you play bike against your homies. Now, these aren't necessarily the hardest tricks, but they're cool tricks that most people will mess up during a game of bike. And at the end of the day, all you're trying to do is beat your homie, right? So if that's the point, then these tricks are gonna help you out. So first and foremost, the thing that you have to keep in mind is do things that you know you can do for sure and that you think that your friends might not be able to. And those things include like double pegging this ledge over here or doing a bunny hop bar spin. But the things that we're gonna show you today are gonna be a little different. So let me have Nate Richter here demonstrate our first one. So a trick that I always get people out on, it's not because I have really long pegs, you kind of have to be control, in control of your bike, but uh, it's downside double peg on the ground turning. So Adam 22 was really good at the downside peg chain, which is really hard for me to do, but sometimes I do it, but this is also a good one to learn. It's not as hard, personally, but I'll show you guys right here. I didn't hit my front, I gotta go back. It's kind of hard. Make sure to tell your friends too to watch that, watch your pegs because if you have plastic pegs, it doesn't really make noise sometimes, so and you'll hit it just like that time. I hit my back peg on that one. Ah, right here. Try it. If I hit it again, it the back peg. Ah! Alright, hold on. Oh. Plastic bags. So I'm the spotlight holder. <laughs> I think that was two pegs. All right, that's a pretty good one. It's a little hard to get that one consistent, but if you practice it enough, that'll be a trick that you have up your sleeve. It's harder right here though, if it's because it's really tight. Usually it's like when you're playing bike, it's a way wider and it's way easier to climb. True, true. It's just on a curve and it's all. All right, the trick that I'm going to try to do is a half bar spin. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do a pickup half bar spin or you can do a bunny hop half bar spin. I'm going to try and do both, preferably the pickup one first, and then, as you can see Nate behind me trying it, the bunny hop one. So let's see if I can do that. All right, so first up, just a little uh, half bar pickup style. Look at that, look at that swag. Now, once you get that, now I guess I got to do a bunny hop. But the point is that if you keep practicing this, you'll be able to do it. Your competitor probably won't be used to doing this trick, so that's kind of like the whole point. Me and Nate really haven't done these ones in a while, but we have them in our sleeve when we need them. So if the pressure's on, that's when you pick it up. All right, now bunny hop right here. Sorry, sorry. No, you're ruining the shot! Sorry. He's kidding. The last man is kidding. <laughs> Back to back, bro. This shit was hard. All right, so basically the secret with the half bar spin is when you normally bunny hop and throw the full bar spin, you need a lot of hang time, but for a half bar spin, you just kind of have to hop real lightly and just kind of like level out your bike so that when you throw it, you can basically almost land with no hands because you're pinching your seat with your knees and then you just kind of like grab it. There's nothing too special about it, but it is hard to do, so if you practice a lot, you'll get it dialed. One of my personal favorite tricks a lot of people cannot do is the, what do you call it, the jam and salmon, the jam, a back tire jam, I don't even know the name of it, but uh, you just go against the ledge and you slam the tire back when you balance, there's a balance point that you hit, pull back and pull off. So a lot of people don't practice this trick, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Get it, first try. On the, on the taller ledge, it's, it's harder, so. First try. Oh, on a taller ledge, on a taller ledge, it's way harder. So if you're really trying to get your opponent out, do it on uh, on a bigger ledge. All right, to follow up on what Nate just did, I'm gonna try to do a foot jam tail whip. These ones are pretty easy on the flat ground. You can do it two ways. You can actually just roll into it, or you can do it kind of like the hop way. I'm gonna do the hop way. That's the one I'm used to. So let's see if I can do the first try. I'll come back this way. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay. If the game of bike was on right now, you'd be done. I would be done. Uh, that one, you kind of like basically do a little baby endo, and as you're doing that, you kind of like whip the bike around. Place your left foot, if you're left foot forward, in the front uh, tire area, right underneath the fork, and then you spin around, catch it, make it look good. Um, obviously, this one, I don't think I've done a tutorial on my channel, so I probably should do this one, but for the game of bike, you can do it the flat ground version. And all that means is that you don't bunny hop. You basically just like lift your leg over, kind of like this way, and then you just kind of like nudge it over. Uh, but for a game of bike, this one really works. So another one. Four. It's kind of a flatland trick. It's fun to do. It's a rocket. You rock it. You pick up your. Kind of got a little distracted over there. Wow. But uh. Whoa. All these. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just a rocket pickup bar. You hold your seat, throw the bars, and you stand on your backpack. So if your friends don't have a backpack, you can always. I guess you they could. I'll show different ways you can do it. Sorry, I'm really bad at explaining this. If, if you guys seen Alfredo's how tos and all this, you guys know how bad I am at explaining tricks. But uh, here, there we go. Uh, I got it right here. Boom! If they, if they don't have four picks, and they only have... Two? Yeah, two, you can just go like this. So I guess that works too a little bit. Kind of pick up bar spin, I guess, but it's the cooler way, flatliner style way. This trick is something you should not know how to do. You should actually correct it if you have done it before, but it's the Indian giver. So basically what you do is you 180, let's say clockwise, and then you're gonna revert or cab out counterclockwise, or you spin to the right and then you turn around to the left. The reason it's called Indian giver is because you're giving something and then you're taking it back. So you're going one way and you're taking it back. It's like a windshield wiper kind of thing. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. That usually gets people because they're not used to rolling out their opposite ways. That, was... that not only beat my competitor Nate here, they actually almost killed the customers too. Hey, go the other way, dude. Yeah, yeah I'll do it. Now other. you gotta do it the other way. Oh, got a ladder, see? Oh. Not used to it. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna give you a two for one. Another thing you can do is when your friend isn't looking, you can just deflate his tire. Hey! Oh, make sure to go by those. Make sure to go buy these tires, by the way. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> so here's another dumb one that you get your opponent out. Because you want to win the damn game. You don't want to be a loser, dude. You don't want to be a, what's his name, Adrian Broner. You want to be a Mayweather, dude. So this is a fakey ET. It's a fakey fakey. That's what we're going to call it. All right. All right. 180. Backwards pedal. Turn around. And you've done it! You won! You beat Alfredo Mancuso! You became you become you became a Mayweather today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you made them laugh I'm with a, your Mayweather comments? I make a, I make them laugh with how I keep can't say retarded nowadays. How, how no, 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 don't say that word. Oh my god, look at that Porsche. Christian channel, Christian channel. I say words out here, but uh yeah, that's how you win. Mayweather. You're a broner. I right, plug your frame and your tires. Oh, so if you're watching this, you need, if you want to win a game of bike, you need to get this Stranger Zia frame, Primo Richter tires, Stranger Zia pegs. What else do I have? Oh, the seat just came out, V2, Stranger Zia seat. Oh, the sparking ain't out yet. You can't, a lot of this stuff is a little DL underneath, so you guys can't wash that yet. You guys got to, uh -uh, got that in a couple, of, couple months, you'll be able to buy this whole bike. So shout out Alfredo Mancuso, holding it down out here. And Pablo, for Pablo holding it down. Thank you, Mr. Nate Richter, for the beautiful plug. Go support him, plug for yeah. Nate Richter here. Go to his channel, I'll link it down below. It'll be, it'll probably be a little circle. You can click on it and poke little Nate Richter here. He used to be big Nate, now he's little Nate. Scrying Nate, vegan Nate. But that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's tricks that you can suggest, do it, leave it down below. If there's a tutorial you wanna suggest, Put it down below. If you want me to kill Pablo back there in the background, tell me down below and I will kill Pablo and his little clout. And uh, yeah. And uh, sorry for the hiatus. Last week it rained five days in a row. No vlogging. I don't know what Nate did in those five days, but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you can do something. vlogging in the rain. Not me. I didn't want to risk it this time. But yeah. You know what to do? Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe.
Maybe. Bye bye. <laughs> it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.